John A. Warden. Captain Winter. Whitley, we detected more grim in the outskirts of Mantle Councilwoman Ironwood requested Federation assistance. Commander Whitley, understood. Roughnecks, are you ready? Roughnecks, sir, yes, sir. They board the dropship as he noticed something off. Whitley, Lieutenant Marrow, where is Elm? Marrow, she's still grieving. Sir, he nods his head in understanding, even though they were brothers and all but Blood Elm was more closer to John's heart. Meanwhile, Edern's quarters. Elm, why, you idiot. She punches her punching bag off its stand and hits a table. Then something fell off of it, it was a data pad and it flickered to life. Static. John, I know O left behind a recording for everyone, but this is for you, Elm. I hope you forgive me when the day comes where I have to decide in laying down my life. I wanted to tell you, I, I, I love you, Elm. And my only regret is that I'm no longer here to be with you. I'm sorry, but I hope you can move on from this workaholic dumbass. I'll see you on the other side, Elm. Keep living, keep fighting my best trooper. Elm puts a hand on her mouth as she cried her heart out. Elm, you're my workaholic dumbass. Asterisk sob asterisk. She spent the day in her quarters sobbing, but eventually she will recover. Back to the dropship en route to the outskirts of Mantle. Whitley, all right, our mission is to engage all of the Grim getting near one of Mantle's outposts. Are we clear? Roughnecks, sir, yes, sir. George, all right, ET 30 seconds. Opening ramp. Whitley, all right, you apes. You want to live forever. Roughnecks, here I aha. As they all disembark and readied themselves to charge the Grim Horde outside the outpost, they were greeted by a massacre. Marrow, what the hell happened here? Whiteley, I don't know LT. Meanwhile, Vale, Beacon Headmaster's office. Ironwood, it seems we're making progress. Ashben, indeed with all the villages saved and almost all kingdoms reinforced after the invasion. Crime rate has dropped to 2% and we were able to weed out a majority of Salem's agents. Crow, good progress although the cost was not worth it. As he looked to James with sympathy, Ironwood, if I were put in John's position, I would do the same thing. Ashben, and deprive the young man his father and your wife her husband. Ironwood, no parent should ever bury their child. Pro, yeah. Sorry about that, Jimmy. But for what it's worth, your son was the better man than all of us here. Ashben, indeed he was. Ironwood, can we please proceed? Ashben, as you wish. I have all the academies muster, all the huntsmen and huntress in the can be summoned for this counter-strike. But it's still taking time. And the council has welcomed all frontier and outside village within the safety of their walls. Ironwood, so we're finally working as one. If only my son could see us now. Crow, I'd imagine him saying it's about time you toddlers started working together. Ironwood, heh, that would be so like him. Ashben, with that out of the way, now comes the latest news on the frontier. Ironwood, this is the first I've headed of any major activity in the frontier. Ashben, Crow. Crow, yet there's been news of multiple ongoing combat between the Grim outside the reaches of the frontier villages. These are isolated events. Glinda, this is concerning. Meanwhile, Republic City, Federation Sass, Willow. Saffron, are you sure about this Terra? Terra? Yeah, we are still gathering more relevant data on these events, and the Grim are becoming more united in their attacks. Saffron, that is concerning. Alert the garrison to heighten the borders of any incoming Grim. And keep an ear out for any refugees seeking asylum. Terra, okay, Saf, I'm on it. Republic City was now at high alert. Later, Fort John. Robin, are you sure, May? May, yes, more and more villages outside Mantis' borders are attacked. Then someone came rushing in the office. Fiona, councilwoman. Can't we asterisk, can't asterisk, of can't. May took some water and gave it to Fiona. Robin, take a deep breathe, Fiona, and then speak. She took controlled breaths until she was able to speak properly. Fiona, there are a lot of refugees from the attacked villages. More and more people are at the gates. Robin, let them in and give them all the essentials we can give get the hospitals ready and get law enforcement at the gates. Fiona contact the ASOPs, we need more security. Fiona and May, yes ma'am. 
as Mantle Bow scrambled to assist the displaced refugees. Then, Static, Whitley, Fort John come in. This is Commander Schnee here. Does anybody read? Robin. Whitley, it's Robin what happened at the outpost. Whitley, it was a complete slaughter. None survived. Robin, damn. Fall back and get the names of those in the outpost. Whitley, no. It's the Grimm that was slaughtered. Robin, what? Explain.